Good morning YouTube and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing a little what I eat in a day video. As you may be able to tell I've just got up, it's quite early in the morning, it's around 9 o'clock. Um, okay, not that early, but <laughs> I haven't got work today it being a Saturday. So I thought I'd share with you a little bit of what I eat, especially for those of you doing Veganuary, um, just to give you some ideas. So this morning I have, this is my breakfast, I don't know if you can see. So it looks like on the inside. This is overnight oats. It's an apple pie overnight oats. So what's in here is three quarters of a cup of oats. Um, I think I put a cup of almond milk in here. Um, a couple of spoonfuls of apple sauce, like you would put on pork roast if you were a meat eater. I use it in my overnight oats because it's nice. Um, there's also some cinnamon in here. Um, a little bit, one tablespoon, no, no, not tablespoon, one teaspoon of maple syrup. Um, one teaspoon, probably, of cinnamon. I'm quite heavy-handed with my cinnamon. And half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And just on top, I've just chopped up some red apple, which you can see. And that's going to be my breakfast. Looking forward to that. And then I've also got my trusty cup of tea now i don't drink regular tea very often i try to avoid caffeine because it sends me a bit doolally so this is my tea this morning this is the pucker black currant Be um beauty i can't speak this morning i've just got up um <laughs> this is a purple organic fruits blend it's got black currants and beetroot in it and it is delicious and i think there must be licorice in there as well because i'm sure i can taste licorice so that is my breakfast, that would be what I'm starting the day with. Now, I actually have my lunch already prepared, so if you follow me to the fridge, I will show you what I'm having for lunch. I actually made this yesterday. This is taken from um, Tony, Japanese surname, can't remember, from Plant Based on a Budget. I really should know, I've just watched one of her videos and I can never remember her surname. So this, can you see? This is my lunch, this is, a chickpea salad. I should probably take the cling film off it. You can see it better then. Hang on. There we go. That's my lunch. So in there we have um, baby spinach, cucumber. Put that back on in a minute. Baby spinach, cucumber, chopped tomatoes, um, chickpeas, some dried cranberries, uh, some pumpkin seeds, and like I've got like a mixed seed thing in my bob, which I'll show you now. Where is it? One of these. So. This came from Aldi's, it's not expensive. It's just really nice to sprinkle on top of um, salads and soups and that kind of thing, just to give you a bit of extra protein, extra vitamins. So that's gonna be my lunch. I'm gonna have that with a veggie burger, which I'm doing good at this whole taking the camera with me this morning. I will also show you what they look like. Now I haven't cooked this yet. So just to show you what I mean, if I can find them, they're in my freezer somewhere. Excuse the rustling. Hang on a minute. I can get them out of the freezer. So these are the burgers I'm going to be trying today. These are from Tesco's. As you can see, they've got vegan on the top. They are peanut and avocado burgers. I have not tried these before. I have no idea what they're going to taste like. They've been sat in my freezer for ages, and I thought I'd finally try them. So I will let you know how that goes later on. Um, so that's going to be my lunch. And then for dinner, I'm either going to have leftovers from last night. So last night I made, sit camera, ta-da. Last night I made a lentil spaghetti bolognese. So just pasta with um, the topping was lentils, tomatoes, so tin tomatoes. I actually used a jar of passata because I didn't have enough tin tomatoes. So I cheated a little bit. Um, it's got grated carrot in it. What else went in there? Some garlic. Um, I'm trying to remember what I put in it now, I can't remember, but <laughs> it looks like, ta-da, well, here's one I made earlier, it's in the fridge, so it's in here, this is my lentil topping, um, the recipe is from Deliciously Ella, um, from her first cookbook, which looks like this, hang on, there you are, this is her first one. This is where I got the lentil bolognese recipe from. It's in here, and you can also find it on her blog online. Um, I'm promoting her because she really helped me um, when I first started my vegan journey. Even though she isn't vegan, she's plant-based, so you will find, I've mentioned this before, but you will find honey um, in some of her recipes and a couple of other things that aren't vegan, but just 
double check your ingredients um, with honey just replace it with maple syrup that's what I do or you can use like date syrup or agave nectar um, as some alternatives but I prefer maple syrup so that's what I use um, she's really good for inspiration so I hope that's a little bit helpful I appreciate most what I do in what I eat in a day videos are a bit more explore explorative in that you see people making the food and you see the finished product now I would do that and I will in the future but I've got to figure out how to do video editing because I'm not very good at it at the moment and the videos that I have done where I've tried to chop and change like the different frames and not just recorded it all in one go, it, they're terrible. So <laughs> I need some practice at that before I put that up on here but I just wanted to do a little what I eat in a day video to try and help those of you that are starting out with Veganuary this month and just for some general inspiration and to prove it's not difficult. Honestly, you don't need fancy schmancy ingredients. You don't need to be like cooking stuff you've never heard of before. You can just use normal everyday product produce. Go to your, your supermarket, go in the produce aisle, pick up some fruits, some veggies. You know, obviously your staples like rice and pasta, they're always going to be useful. Do check the labels, guys, just in case, but most rice and pasta is vegan. I've only ever crossed pasta once that wasn't. It had egg in it. The fresh stuff isn't. It normally has egg in it, but dried pasta you're normally all right with. So I hope this has been helpful and that you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will speak to you again soon. Have a great day guys, bye for now.